on the tech milk kill issue. Okay, Nitty Grady, you're on. Uh oh. No, <laughs> no, no. Hey, everybody. Please stand by. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Are we back? I think so. All right. Hey, everybody. It's me, the Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. It's Monday night, and this is Twisted Stitches. And Paul is uh, getting everything hooked up here as we uh, get ready for a fun night at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope you had a good day. Um, it's also, um, what's the other day today? We recognize not just lovers, but people who are single and alone and enjoying it. And I'm really happy for all of you. And sometimes I, um, I kind of envy you a little bit, but <laughs> I, my daughter says I covet my single days every now and then. So <laughs> what are you giggling at, mister? I'm not sure I could say it. Uh, why? What I, gave, what I gave you for Valentine's oh. Day. <laughs> no. I just thought about that. I know. Well, you know no, you can't say it because it won't sound no, right. No, it won't sound good. No. So here, we. I have to move this new crate out of the way that we just got. <laughs> Hold on. A minute. So I'll tell you about that. Oh, my God. Why don't, why don't you bring it down to show it to them? Because you can't say it. You have to kind of show it to them. I'm not a big no. fan of the, the whole let's go out, spend a lot of money on a fancy dinner, um, buy me flowers that are overpriced and spend a whole lot of money on a card. I just, I'm not a fan of that because when I want to go out to dinner, we I want to go don't. out to a nice dinner all the time. And when I, um, and if my husband or anyone wants to bring me flowers, it doesn't have to be an occasion to do that. It's just the occasion to bring flowers. So I just, the commercial holidays a little, a little bit crazy, but I am wearing my Valentine, my sweet Valentine cowl to say that. And, um, and I have truly immensely enjoyed the heart um, scarf kits and poncho kits and all those things, which by the way, we have a drawing tonight. All you who were, uh, who ordered any of the heart um, products that were on as part of our promotion here, your name has gone into a bucket a bucket and we are going to look at that right. bucket that's not a bucket shawl it's no, a no. red bucket it's a red bucket we're going to be drawing in a little while for a free heart scarf kit so very excited about that so you want me to show them what you got me for valentine's day yeah in the meantime all right i will acknowledge all our right, guest all righty we've got this whole thing scrolled. Jillian Goldred says socks. Hello. Heather Campbell shared. Donna Nahajlo. Hi, everyone. And Anna Maria Milani says hello, all. Heather Campbell. Hey. Barbara Hummel. Hiya. And we've got Francesca Slocum Anderson. Is that a new name? Hello from Maine. Sounds like a newer name. Maine. Whereabouts in Maine are you? I love Maine. Maine name. And Darren Showers, our friend, says hello from Snowy Cape Cod. Hey. Woot, woot, woot. Wonder Boy sighting. Bryce Wonder says hello. And Patricia Espejo. Hello, everyone. Bryce Wonder's National Singles Awareness Thank Day. You. That's the one. I couldn't think of the name of it. Bryce Wonder says, that's what I'm celebrating. Ha, ha, ha. And Ray Sean D. Jones. Good evening, everyone. Hi, buddies. Andrea Whitmore, Paul Meyer, and Paul Meyer. <laughs> Leslie Welsh Flaherty says hello. And Nancy Robertson says hello. Maria Brandt is with us. Good evening. Shoot. Making my husband's favorite tenderloins, mashed potatoes, and white gravy. What so, yeah. Nice don't Valentine's have to go Day out dinner. at all no and linda newcomb hello everyone from bittery cold mid michigan and andrea whitmore hey buddies <laughs> beth ann wilkes says hello and i believe we're all caught up Woo! so honey what did i give you for valentine's day <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> now, Three of those. <laughs> I know. I know what Paul's thinking. <laughs> I can't believe. 
I just thought about that after we went live. I don't know what possessed me to honey, think of that. Honey, honey. <laughs> oh He's a crazy God. man. He's an absolute crazy man. But we just ran out of firewood last night. And I can't seem to find anybody to deliver firewood as quickly as I need it. Because the ground is all muddy and snowy. Exactly. And the wood has to go behind the house. And nobody wants to drive a vehicle back there right now because they're afraid they won't be able to get it back out. Exactly. So, uh, so Paul was out today and he came home with three bundles of firewood for me. So at least we got a little fire, a little fire excitement going on for a couple of dates here. And, uh, I will enjoy that. So thank you, darling. I really appreciate it. No problem. Jackie Vandenberg says hi. And Pamela Rose Atkins, happy Valentine's Day. Deborah Ayacanelo. Wait, Ayacanelo de la Ramere. Whoa. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice that, that Let one. me see that name. Love the red outfit, she says. Oh, thank you. Deborah Ayacanelo, honey. Like the uh, Ayacanelo oh, brothers. Oh, in Rhode Island. Delamore. Thank you so, uh, De, no, Delamere. Uh, thank you so much. You love my little red outfit? She says, oh my. <laughs> Who said oh my? <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Candace Wise. Happy hey, Valentine's Day Dutch, to you both. He's a Dutch Chinese man. What do you want from him? <laughs> Who's from the Caribbean? I don't know. He, he can't, when it comes to Italian names, they have to be short and no longer than five. They have to be no longer than five letters and end in a vowel. <laughs> Francesca Slocum Anderson says, Francesca, ha ha, Gardner, Maine. Hi. Jillian Goldridge, sitting by the fireplace can be very romantic. It is very romantic, especially when you have your knitting. I mean, when you have your husband with you. <laughs> yeah. Don't say anything. I'm counting. Yeah. <laughs> very romantic. Don't talk. To you me. just messed me up. I was counting. Can't you tell I'm counting? <laughs> 275, 276. It never happens when you're like on four or seven. It's always when you're counting that giant row and you're trying to keep track of it. You've got your stitch markers every hundred stitches instead of every 50. And somebody walks in and starts babbling at you. <laughs> Dina Justice, I'm trying so hard to make a funny about your gift. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can find a a, a, nice, a delicate way to do it. You go for it. There is no delicate way to state that gift. Not in the context of Valentine's Day anyway. Okay. So Kate I, Argenta Lutz says, hi, everyone. And hello. Deborah says, LOL, Patricia Prenderville. Oh, yes, Patty Prenderville. Yeah. yeah. Hello from Nevada. Woo. Hey, I need to... I'll be out there next month. Yes, you will. So... Now that we've got all the Valentine goodies out of the way, well, sort of, we sort of do. Um, I'm trying to think of, should I do the drawing first? I don't know. Maybe. I say keep them in suspense. Yeah. Nah, do know. the drawing first. I well, which drawing? Well, we're going to have two drawings, we're gonna no? Do the, well, we're going to have several drawings today. But here's what we got. So we have a heart scarf kit. And this is exclusively for the people who bought heart... Um, heart motif sets during the special that we had. So let me see what we've got in here. One lucky winner. One lucky winner. Round and round she goes. Where she stopped, the only nitty gritty yarn girl knows. I got one. And the winner is. Uh -oh. Whoa. I, I can only take one and this is the one that's in my hand. Okay. Well, I could put that one out for later. All right, you ready? Drum roll, please. Whoa, Marilyn Bressler, you won a heart scarf kit. Yay. Yay. Hello. Yay for Marilyn. So you make one for you and one for somebody else as a gift. How special is that? Good for you, Marilyn. Congratulations. And thank you to everyone who participated in the special. We had a lot of fun with that. Got some great combinations of colors that were were put in for the scarves and the sweaters and the ponchos. It was just a fun, fun time. So thank you very much. And Marilyn will be sending you your special gift in the mail. So, and maybe you'll win another prize tonight or someone else will. So excuse me one moment. Oh, say hi, Oreo. Meanwhile, O is sleeping. And what we're going to do with the rest of the names, want to take them? What do you say no? Oh, you're going to add them to? I'm going to add them 
to the sharing bucket. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to add them to the sharing bucket. Oh, look what's in the sharing bucket. Oh, look at that. There's some sock yarn in the sharing bucket. Huh. What? We'll be giving yep. away some sock one yarn tonight. One fell on the outside. Uh -oh. Make sure you get that one. Where is it, honey? It's right on the outside on my side. On the outside on your side. Oh, okay. Sure all right. In. All righty. So they're all in. in. They're in there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot a few. Hold on. There we go. Super. All right. We'll get those in there. Okay. So that is taken care of. And so, you know, I thought about tonight, I uh, wanted to do something a little different. You know, it's, it's the middle of winter. There are so many things that we're looking at that are warm and chunky and heavy projects. And yet there are times where you just want to have something a little lighter on your needles. So I thought, Man, you know, let's think about the lighter weight yarns that can be, um, that, you know, we call them sock yarns. But not all sock yarns or sock weight yarn is used only for socks. And sometimes there's some sock weight yarn that you wouldn't even think about using for socks. So we're going to talk about those, you know, those combinations and show you some different things that we have here um, at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. And then also we have a little United notice that we have a table set up there. And when the table's set up, that means there's a little something special going on. Yes, Paul. And all the way from Eureka, California, oh, we have Rita Johnson Cotterman. So that's good evening, everyone. Waiting for Rita to show up. Oh, Where yeah. are you? Always, <laughs> always. Hello to Doug Cotterman. Yes. Hashtag yarn it. So we still have some folks I'm watching. Speaking of Rita being on right now, I'm watching all of you advance in your cozy x sweaters and yes this this was a january project and we're in mid-february and there are still folks working on it and as i say it's not a race it's all about working at your own pace and feeling comfortable with your project and i must say that i am so excited and proud to see these projects go on nitty-gritty yarn group and and watch and see the encouragement from each of you and the pride that you all feel when you're showing your work, it's just great, you know? And I, and I love that you're all trying it on at a certain point so you know how it's gonna fit and then watching your progress along the way and moving that little X there is just, it's, the whole project was such a great find. I'm so glad we did it. So all of you who are working on it, congratulations. If anyone is interested in learning more about the Cozy X sweater, it's on our website at nittygrittyyarngirl.com and just put in Cozy X in the um, in the search bar. And Cozy X is all one word, C-O-Z-Y-X. Bryce Wonder says it's martini time. It is martini time, except that I'll have to wait, Bryce. <laughs> and here comes Ben sporting his new sweater. Oh, I wonder if Jody is on. I'm trying to get a picture of Ben wearing his, um, his Andiamo light doggy sweater. And I could not. Whoa, whoa, oh, buddy, what happened? One, two, three. You got, you got it, ben. it, bud. Ben, you got it, buddy. Come on, buddy. You got it, Ben. Come on, up we go. You ben, go it. ahead, buddy. You, you got it. it. You got this, Ben. Come on, you got this. Come on. Go ahead, Ben. Ben, go, 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 Ben. Go, go, go. You got it, Ben. You got this. Come on, come on. You got this. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. You got it, boy. <laughs> you got on, it, Ben. Come on, buddy. <laughs> He's like, All right. No, Mama, he does get me. not. <laughs> what happened? Well, look at that cute little sweater. He's a little. He's styling. He's been boy. wearing that since he went out today. Didn't want to come. Didn't want to stay outside. Wanted to come back in and get all kinds of cozy. So he did. So let's look at some some sock yarns. The first thing when I saw these, um, and these are not brand new. These are a couple of years old. But I thought these were the greatest thing when I saw them. This is um. Woot woot woot! Celebrity music. sighting. Jody Long is in the house. Says hi, y'all. Did you show him Ben? And that's, he's right behind Kelly Kohlhofer, who said, so fun. Look, look at Ben's sweater. This is Andiambo Light, my friend. Uh, ben. <laughs> did ben, ben, did you just work? burp into the camera? <laughs> ben, what's going on with that boy? Ben, do turn around so everybody can see your sweater. Cute. Nice. Okay. Oreo's like, uh-oh. 
So look at these. I great... didn't sign up for this. Look, look, look. I want to show these to you. Are these fun socks? Almost like argyle, no? Well, no. Without the color. Well, argyle. It's a it's a diamond motif. These socks are called gallium. They're knee socks, and they're knitted with Hario Fine. Ooh. Now, when you think about Hario Fine, you probably don't think socks because it's an alpaca. We've got here a little bit of alpaca and palamite. So these are going to be nice and warm and and nice and springy when you're knitting, you know, to wear them. And they're going to keep their shape beautifully. And these socks are fantastic. I just love them. And the last project, or one of the projects that we did with um, using Hario Fine was the Deja Vu Shawl. So you can see how you can take a yarn that can be used for a, for a sweater or a shawl, the Deja Vu cape, like a cape like this, or you can use it for socks as well. So don't dismiss this sock, this yarn, when you're looking to make a really nice pair of socks. And again, this is Hario Fine, and it's on our website. All right, we're way behind on comments. We being the me, we. Jackie Vandenberg would be expecting Paul to sing the doors. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy, she's running with this one. <laughs> but nothing from Gina. <laughs> Not yet. Let me see. It's still early. Jillian Goldridge, what is that fabulous cable sweater on your left? Cable sweater. I know. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go there. I'll tell you what that is. That is, hold on. Is Oriana Cristina Bruno says, hi, everyone. Hi, Oriana. As does Greta Jane. Hi there. Where and Jeannie McLean. Where's my label? Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, it's Blue Face Lester is the yarn. Hold on. I want to, hold on. Oh, Greta Jane says, now working on a Jody Long sweater, even though still feeling like crap from the COVID. Okay. Ben is adorable. Thank you. Rita Johnson Cotterman says, Ben is adorable. Jody Long loved the sweater for Ben using Andiamo. Don't you love it? I just think it was the cutest thing. Greta right. Jane says, Gamora and Ginger say, hi, Ben. Francesca. Slocum Anderson, I got my shingle cowl pattern in the mail. Oh, good. Started good. it tonight. And Jeff Grill, does Oreo get one? It does Oreo. No, Oreo's not a sweater guy. No. You know, no, he's not, no. not a sweater guy. No. Hold on a minute. I Lorraine Schiller says, hi, all, with a heart emoji. And Julia Johnson Ray, good evening. Good looking. Not you, her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Paul gets a lot of attention here. Patricia Penderville. Stunning cable sweater. Okay. So it's Ooh. the Nora pullover. Oh, uh oh. Up, uh, hello. Eyes up here, buddy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not used <laughs> to hearing it in that context. Eyes up here, buddy. <laughs> so it's the Nora pullover. Did you say Nora? Nora, N O R A H. Oh, I thought you were making fun of me. No. Be like Igonor. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the Nora pullover. It's on our website. Um, and it's in Blue Face Lester. Great. Actually, I'm knitting right now with this yarn. Oh, my goodness. This is such a nice yarn to knit with. You might have seen the, um, the Brecken sweater that i was uh, that i posted a couple of things on yesterday i working to, i was working to get the um the color work started on it last night so i got that done so the next thing i want to oh. show you um another yarn that's a lot of fun that is works really great for socks oh and by the way uh tonight if you if when we talk about a sock yarn if you purchase the yarn i will send you the pattern that is associated that we talked about for that yarn so Perth is a great, great yarn for socks. This is an Australian superwash wool blend with a little bit of nylon in it. Fabulous for socks. Now, in um, you might remember here at Knitted Gritty Yarn Girl, we used it in the Papillon shawl. And it works really nicely in there because of the color changes in it. So we loved it for that. 
There's also, um, but it's also really cool for socks. And these are Theo socks. And this is a great little yarn and works up really nicely for socks. And when you, it's really cool because you can see here the way the color changes go in this. In fact, this is probably Red Cliff. That might be, or, or Barrier Reef. Um, look at the colors on it. But you can see the color changes and how they would work in a papillon shawl when i did this one i used queen victoria so this is really shades of purples and uh yeah into a deep purple so did you say deep purple oh no did you say deep purple all right so we have a lot of different colors here of perth if you don't see them on the website, give me a call. I'll be happy to look. There are so many. Look, show them this bin right here is filled with all the different colors that we have. Lots of greens and blues and purples and reds and just great combinations for socks and for other kits. Also, think about the, um, the shift cowl. Another great uh, yarn for that as well. Greta Jane says, already got a request for the men's sweater in the Jody Long's book, Winter Forest Winter. Winter Forest, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Jody Long says, Paulette, do you sell blocking boards and pins? I need them. I need a new set, TIA. Of course we do. Of course you do. We have the Mindless Collection. <laughs> or Mindful? What is it? Mindless? The mindless Collection. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, the mindless collection. I was I live mindful, with the right? Mindless collection. <laughs> it was a mindful, right? The mindful collection. Oh. Yes, Jody, I do have blocking mats and blocking pins. I'm more than happy. I can't. I really, I really just can't. I can't. It just, it's too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> Greta Jane says, smoke on the water, Paul Meyer. Mary Brinkman, hello from Nebraska. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished up. We just started. We just started our gem, our gem shawl knit along, which is going quite nicely. We're having a fun time on Thursday nights and Saturday afternoons working with everyone on this. Jody Long says, I'll message you after the show. Thanks. Okay, sweetie. No problem. Sounds great. So these, um, the Huasco sock and the hand, the kettle dies and the hand painted from KFI are all great. The, the, uh, the blends in these yarns <laughs> are beautiful for socks. And here's an example using the KFI collection of the uh, hand-painted. Jackie Vandenberg says, that's what I'm calling it from now on, the mindless, mindless Yeah, and look at these. <laughs> look at these with the K with the oh, uh, Quasco man. sock. Very pretty. Now, some of you chose this color, uh -oh. Oreo. Some of you chose this color for your gem shawl. Now look at this. Here it is. And socks. So it's pretty cool how that works. Really, really a fun sock yarn. Solids or speckles and multicolor. Greta Jane. Yes. I know this is supposed to be all sock yarn, so we should totally mention that Art Yarns Merino Cloud is totally awesome for socks. Yeah, yes, you can use that for socks too. Because it, it does, it's merino and cashmere. Totally awesome for socks, yes. Rita Johnson, Cotterman, Doug has been asking for socks. I need to start a pair for Christmas. <laughs> well, you've really got a head start on those. Have you knitted socks yet? That would be an interesting question. How many people here? Well, I know several are sock knitters, but I don't know how many. Maria Brandt says, very pretty colors. Very pretty, very pretty. Um, the other sock, uh, sock yarn or yarn that works well with socks and is the other half of the Papillon shawl kits that we have is Gadifra Lana Mia Uni. This is a great yarn for socks, for sweaters, for so many things. This is a, a 
super wash wool and palamide. Great texture on this yarn. I do love it. Rita Johnson Cutterman, one pair so far. And Heather Campbell says, I've done socks. And Jody Long says, I've designed them, but never finished a single one. <laughs> I get bored easily. And Kelly Kohlhofer, socks are a must do in 2022. I will learn. Ah, well, we we will help if you would like to. We do teach toe up here, but I, I, I'm also familiar with cuff down. So either way works. Greta Jane, we all know how much I absolutely love Merino Cloud and I love socks. 22 pairs knit in 21. Wow. Nancy Robertson, I've never knitted socks. I'm afraid I'll get frustrated after the first one and never make a second. Well, you can make them two at a time. Or you know what we, we have some folks do? They start if, because they don't want to learn two on one set of needles. What they do is they cast on the two socks on two separate needles and then they work them simultaneously well one after you know one after the other which is a great way to practice because once you finish a certain section on one you can go to the other and practice that same section on the other sock and so you're actually finishing both socks at the same time on two separate needles so it's a pretty cool way to do it yes paul i see you smiling and looking for something and some people oh here you go there are do those some people do those. This is that's Paul's favorite way of getting of, of getting socks because otherwise I'll never get to them. Have you seen these? I'm sure you have. They're on our website. These are ready-made socks. We call these cheater socks. So Rita, don't tell Doug. If you don't get around to it, you can always pick up a pair of these for him. Great last-minute gifts. And if you if you don't have time to get them done during the year or you just haven't gotten to socks yet and you're on your list of things to learn and make sure just before doug walks into the room sit down put the needles in on one side and go what about finally the, finish what about them the genie, genie yeah Charnas yeah yeah the retreat one of our ladies at the retreat was uh, she bought she bought these socks i think I, i'm not going to tell you how many pairs she bought but she made sure she sat down she put needles in her hands and she put the socks in in her hand like as if she was knitting them so she could tell her family that she made them socks for christmas. she knitted them socks for christmas <laughs> too funny too funny do we have comments there yep. if, if, a you, lot. if you saw what i'm seeing you'd go why is she stopping but i'm watching patricia prendeville always have two pairs of socks in process Jeannie mclean what's better paulette toe up or reverse i never knitted socks i like toe up because i like that and i i use magic loop because i like to be able to try things on so i do toe up i've also done cuff down on double pointed needles so you know i, I think it's just a matter of preference and you see all different i've taught people on circular needles and they've got some of them have, have gone to dpns and starting from, I, I taught them toe up on, on circular. They now do top uh, cuff down on DPNs. I think once you know the process of the sock, um, it, it, you decide which works best for you. Patricia Espejo, I make socks occasionally, and Jillian Goldridge love making socks. Greta Jane, Jody Long, you need to design some cable socks. Uh, you know, I remember the first time I met Jillian, the first time I met you, Jillian, um, when we discovered that we both enjoyed knitting. And um, then I remember you being in a one of the training classes that I was doing with your husband. And he was so proud to show me his hand knitted socks that he was wearing that you had made for him. So uh, yes, I know that you are a lover of the socks. Greta Jane, two at a time, so easy. And Lynn Gordon, socks are so fun. I laughed through my first heel. Rita Johnson and Cutterman. Cry through their first heel. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah, I like doing I like doing two separately when you're newer at it. It just kind of gives you that little extra practice. Greta Jane says Matthew Sautel ruined the cashmere socks I made for him. Wash them and out them and put them in the dryer. Oh, it's happened to all of us. Triple face palm emojis. <laughs> Leslie Welsh Flirty, three pair in progress right now. Wow, Leslie, you're so ambitious. Soothing and portable. Yep. 
And Beth Anna Wilkes, we just had 30, negative 37, so we wear wool socks most of the winter. Gina Bates is in the house, says hi. And hey, Greta, home. <laughs> Greta Jane says, I would be a great teacher for Toe Up Magic Loop, LOL, with a laughing face emoji. <laughs> well, knitting 20 pairs, in, in 20 pairs in 2021, that's a lot. Cindy Kelly, what cast on do you use for toe up? For toe up, I use um, uh, an S cast on. So it's kind of like they call it a Turkish cast on, but it's also just called an S cast on. Um, and I won't demonstrate it tonight, but I'd be happy to demonstrate it next week on the show. And uh, maybe we'll do that for the show next week and we'll we'll record it and we will be able to put that on our YouTube. By the way, we're getting more and more videos on our YouTube channel and if you're part of a knit along, we put all the Zoom sessions on our YouTube channel as well. And we don't publish those because they were part of the knit along, but you will have the link and they're always available for you. So yeah, we're, we're getting to use our, our YouTube more often. Yes, Paul. Greta Jane, provincial because it's so stretchy. Okay. Okay. That's another type, they, another type of um, cast on. Cast on. Right. Right. Good for you. Good for you, Paul. You're getting there. I'm not totally mindless. So I'm thinking there's another sock. Oh, one of the newer sock yarns that uh, came out this year is the Katia. I can't always forget the name of it. United Socks. United Socks. And these are the little mini skeins. These are like 110 yards each. And they are just the fun little socks. And they're great to use for heels and toes or if you want to make a striped sock. Uh, as a matter of fact, the we the yarn actually comes with the uh, with patterns for two different socks in them. So great idea! So you can see how you can mix the colors and that sort of thing, and then those are all the colors on the back. So Cindy Kelly, that would be great. I have tried the cast on, but failed miserably. <clears throat> it's um yeah, it's not it's I'm not gonna say it's not hard. It's tricky. And if anyone else has a um, has a cast on for toe up that they use on DP on um, Magic Loop, feel free to give me a send me a, a message or do a little video and send it to me, and I'll share that one as well with the with the show next week. Greta Jane says, "I didn't even know you had a YouTube channel. How can I find it and I can subscribe?" Yep, it's Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, all one word. There are lots of Nitty Gritty Yarn Girls out there on YouTube. Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, all one word. That's how you find us. Julie Johnson Ray used German cast on. Okay, I'm <coughs> familiar with that one. Greta Jane says, "Matthew Sautel is literally texting me from the bedroom saying." No more sock yarn, <laughs> L-M-F-A-O. So, Jillian Goldrich, Judy's Magic Cast On. Okay, is that, isn't that, yeah, that's like the Magic Loop one. Well, I don't know if she actually does the same S one that I do, but I'll have to look at that. Um, so, I wanted to show you one of my favorites. Like, if you've got a, if you've got a skein, one skein of sock yarn or fingering weight yarn, or you can even use a sport weight yarn for this. It works out beautifully. And you want a quick, easy gift. This is called Underground Magic. And now you got it. This has been on the bus since the Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl's inception. But this is one of my favorite things to do with a single ball or hank of sock weight or, uh, or sport weight yarn using a size well they say to use up to a 13 needle so you can use they say the bigger the needle the better and i use i think i use the 13 on this or an 11 and you just cast on a hundred stitches uh, with that large needle and work in the round until you run out of yarn and this is so fun because you all know how much i love hoods i love to wear things like this and this is a great little thing when you're walking outside in the snow and you want to, you know, wrap yourself up a little bit. The part or, of Yentl today will be played by okay. Paulette. As long as I'm happy, that's what counts. It's all about me. And you can wrap it up tight around your neck, or you can wear it, uh, or you can wear it open. So it's a great piece. I love it. Easy to do. It works really well with this yarn. It also works good with um, <coughs> with the mohair, the 50 mohair shades, to do something like that too. A lot of fun. 
So that's another idea uh, for the use of sock yarns. One skein. Yes, Paul. On Rocky and Bullwinkle, they say, the hero always arrives in the ta-da nick of time. Speaking of which, Julie Denny Stark, speaking of socks, <laughs> says, I'm late. Followed up by, give me all the sick yarn. Sock yarn. Yeah. <laughs> As well, spell check. Change that. <laughs> Greta Jane says that color is beautiful. Thank I you. feel you, LOL. This, and Julie Denny Suck, I meant suck, not sick. This is one of my the first yarns that I got from Bryce Wonders. This is a, a spin away farms yarn, but it was from our early days, right, Bryce? So see how pretty that looks? Pretty cool. Very nice. So that's called underground magic. And it's great. It's a great pattern and simple. You don't even need a pattern for it. All right. So that's just some ideas for sock yarn. I thought it'd be fun to talk a little bit about that today. And then I thought it would be fun to do a, just a bit of a pop up. Not a big one, but for our sock fans, you know, how often does sock yarn really have specials? At least not here. So I have a, just a little something that I put together for all of you. And so trying to keep things organized, look at me, look what I did. I got all the different yarns we have, how many we've got, and how we're gonna work this. So um, I didn't talk about Gadifra, Lana Mia Catone. This is a cotton sock yarn. Why did you do that? No, I, it was up to down. I couldn't read it. Oh, okay. Well, so I, you can't read it, but they can see the colors. Oh, God. <laughs> so um, no, I'm showing them this oh, right oh, now. Right, right, right. <laughs> Do you want to stay with the program, please? I take one of those pieces of uh, firewood and clunk you on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so Lana Mia Cotone, great cotton yarn. Fabulous colors. Look at that. I love the way this works up. We actually have this color. So if you're looking for a nice summer weight sock yarn, this is fantastic. And we've got, we have um, special prices and we've got a bunch of different colors. So here we look, I'll have some on my needles too. So this is how the, the orange stripe works up. So let me tell you what we got. These yarns usually sell for $20. You have, let's see what, let me read you all the information on it. 90% cotton, 10% polyester, 380 yards. So you've got enough for a pair of socks there for your average foot. These normally sell for $20. They are on sale for 16. So if anyone would like the cotton sock here's the colors orange and blue blue green speckle i love this color orange stripe you, know, you all laugh at how I wear that uh, that gold color all the time. That's my second favorite color right there, that orange. Orange stripe. We have orange speckle. Whoa, my fingers are falling. Orange speckle. Rita Johnson Cotterman says, quick, before Doug comes home, LOL. And Julie Denny Stark, this yarn is lovely to knit with. And this is the blue stripe. So... Do it this way. Orange and blue. Blue green speckle. Orange stripe. Orange speckle. And blue stripe. So those are the cottons in this brand that we have for sale for $16 on sale. Patricia Espejo, can I have one of the orange and blue? Orange and blue. Yep, orange and blue. Yep, you got it. You got it. Now, for those folks, and we'll just, if if 
you decide you want them. We'll just write them down as you uh, as you let us know what you're looking for. Okay, painted sock. These are fun. Let me show you now that Paul turned them. The right Linda Newcomb sold orange stripe for sixteen dollars. Orange stripe. Who was it? Who was that Paul? Linda Newcomb. Linda Newcomb. Okay. Andrea Whitmore, I want one of each blue green speckle, blue stripe, orange, and blue. Blue green, blue green speckle. What else? Orange. She said uh, each uh, blue green speckle, blue stripe. Yep. Orange and blue. Orange and blue. Okay, Andrea. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it, got it. Cindy Kelly, I'll take one of the blue stripe. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanted to turn one of these over so you can see how cute. Painted sock is a fun yarn if you like your uh, your socks to be identical. Andrea Whitmore, actually make it two of each. Two of each, you got them. Thank you. So if you're looking for two socks exactly the same, which some people, are, that's Paul, very symmetrical. Everything needs to be very symmetrical oh, yeah. and matched. Uh, when I make Paul a pair of socks out of this yarn, I'm going to pull one from the inside and one from the outside so that they're completely different. <laughs> you should see his face. He's not happy about that. <laughs> Maybe that's why you like the machine-made ones, because they're both exactly the same. Exactly the yep. same. Yep. So Patricia Espejo, painted sock pink and blue, please. Painted sock pink and blue. Okay, let me get to my painted sock page here. Oopsie, painted sock pink and blue. The pink and blue is called. Are those the same price? No, these are $10 each, by the way. $10 for your package of those. So this is a teal tulip, teal. All right, so you got painted Patricia stock pink Espejo. and blue for Patricia Espejo. Leslie West Flaherty, more wood in your future, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so let me tell you, let me show you the colors on these. And I'm just going to, I'm going to call them as they show um, instead of by their names. So I'm going to ask you to please, um, we're calling this, we're going to call it yellow. This is blue and red. And this one is, okay. Blue and red. Eileen Steinhauer, what's the fiber content of the painted sock oh, yarn? thank you. It's a 75% superwash merino. 25% polyamide. Thank you so much. And it's total of 436 yards. So we have the yellow. We have the blue red here. Julie Denny Sark sold painted sock in blue, green and blue and red. Blue, green and blue and red. Okay. So the blue, green is Isla Bonita. Julie. Stark and Yellowstone. Okay, gotcha, Jules. Um, okay, so this is we'll call that one blue green since that's what Julie just called it. Kelly Kohlhofer, do you have multiples? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have at least uh, five of many of them. So if you tell me what you want, I can get them down there for you. Okay, so this one is called Golden Gate. And this is a blue and gold. Well, it's really blue and orange. So if you notice, the Golden Gate Bridge is not gold, it's orange. So that's the orange. So that's called Golden Gate. 
Julie Denny Stark, do you have any more of the pink and blue? If so, I'll take one of those too. This one, yep, yep, Julie, I have them. Got you down for two. Greta Jane, I can't stay awake any longer. Good night, all. Good night, honey. You feel better. Feel better. Good this... night, Greta Jane. So, yes, yeah, so this is the, the pink and blue. This one is Samoa Sunset. Samoa Sunset. And remember, if you run out, you can always get Samoa. Lovely, Paul. I love this pink and gray. This is called Desert Rose. The blue and orange. Blue and orange. I'm just going to call that blue orange. And then this is. Patricia Espejo. I will take a pink and gray as well. Okay. And then the purple and fuchsia is called Violet Hill. So this is Violet Hill. Linda Newcomb sold pink and gray. Linda Newcomb? Yep. Okay. Linda Newcomb. Yeah. Okay. So again, I have multiples of these. I just put out samples so you can see them. And I'll go through them again for you. This is my eyes are making me crazy. Yellow. We kept it simple on this one. Andrea Yellow. Whitmore sold Violet Hill. And this one is, this was the blue and green. We have two more of those left. So this is yellow and blue and green. This is Golden Gate. We have four of those. Blue and green. Wait a minute. Do I have both of those out here? Hold on a minute. Oh, this was blue and red. Sorry. This one is blue and red. And this is the blue and green. Danielle Dunbar, painted sock yellow. Diane Dunbar, yellow. Okay, this is the purple and pink. Samoa Sunset. It's really pretty gold. This one, this color makes me crazy. It's a long name. So it's blue and orange. Barbara Hamel, blue and green painted sock. Blue and green painted sock. What was that? Who was that? Paul? Barbara Hamel. Okay. Kelly Kohlhofer, one Violet Hill, one Samoa Sunset. One Violet Hill, one Samoa Sunset. And that was Les uh, Leslie or Kelly? Kelly Kohlhofer. Eileen Steinhauer. Can I order those through the website? Yes, but the special prices are not on the website. Um, you know what you do if, if, if you, um, you see something on the website tonight, email me. If we still have it left, I'll be more than happy to honor the price for you. I'll do it that way. And I'll just give it to you, you know, at the discounted price. Cindy Kelly, purple and pink. Purple and pink. That's this one, Cindy Kelly. Tulip. 
Julie Denny Sark, wait, I already have that blue and green. Oops, can you swap the blue green for pink and gray? So sorry. <laughs> no problem, yes, Julie. Yes, you absolutely can, Julie. Let me make, make sure I did this now. Which one are we doing? She, uh, she said she already has the blue and green. Okay, so Julie already has. All right, so you instead and of you don't it, want two of those, you swap want... it for a. Uh, Pink and gray. But you had two of them. So do you want two pink and grays, Julie? What's the purple one? I just got sound, says Gina Bates. The purple one is Violet Hill. That's Violet Hill. And this we're calling um, pink, and, pink and purple. Cindy Kelly, how many grams total? I may need another. I need 200 grams. Um, these are total of 100 grams. So, Cindy Kelly, you have one of this one. You want me to add another one? Yeah. Okay. Julie Denny Sark, one pink gray, one blue red, and one pink purple. Okay. One. One pink gray. Wait a minute. One pink gray. Okay. One blue red, right? And one. Yep. Pink purple. One pink purple. Okay. Perfect. And Cindy Kelly confirmed, yes, I'll take two. You got it. All right, good. Eileen Steinhauer, I will take red and blue and Violet Hill. Red and blue and Violet Hill. <laughs> I think you mean this red and blue. Or do you mean the second red and blue? Gina Bates says, Violet Hill, how many do I need for a pair of socks? One. One Gina Bates. Danielle Dunbar, how many yards of yellow? They're all the same amount of yardage. They're 436. So the person who wanted... And Eileen Steinhauer said the first one. Okay. So one Violet Hill... So what was she looking at before, Paul? Gina Bates says... No, not Gina Bates. Oh, Eileen Danielle, Steinheim. Eileen, the first one. I know, but she had that one and something else. She says, I will take red and blue and okay. Violet Hill. Okay. So red and blue, the first red and blue. Right, this one. Yeah. And it's Eileen Steinheim. And, and Julie Denny Stark said... You're both doing a great, you're both doing great at this. Thanks for being patient. Oh, thank you. No problem, Julie. As you well know, this is not our first rodeo. Uh, but we, but you know what? Sometimes we fall off the horse. So. That's right. <laughs> Once I got kicked in the head by the horse. <laughs> which is what made me mindless collection. <laughs> okay, so. Rita Johnson, Cotterman, one Violet Hill, please. Violet Hill is gone. That's what I was just going to say. Oh. Um, we don't have any more Violet Hills. So. Danielle Dunbar, can I get two yellow ones? Diane Dunbar, two yellow. Good. You did catch that, right? Rita Johnson, Cotterman, or the Violet Hill are gone. Violet Sorry. Hill are gone. Gloria and Hamilty sold Violet Hill. Oh, no, they're nope. gone. And so, Sorry. all right, listen, we have no more Violet Hill and no more teal tulip. Uh, no more of the pink and purple. So these are gone. What else you got? We got. So what's the, what's left of those? I love it. We have pink and gray. Samoa sunset. Blue and orange. Blue and green. Golden gate. That's the yellow. Yellow. And blue and red. Blue and red. Thank you, Paul. Danielle Dunbar said it's Danielle Dunbar. I know Danielle Dunbar. I got you. <laughs> Just for the two yellow ones, right? Yes. 
Oh, not Diane Dunbar. That was me. I yeah. slipped. Sorry about that. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we can go back to these. If you decide you want something. You see something, say something. Let me know. Because the sale is just for tonight. Rita Johnson Cotterman, can I see the blue and green speckle of the Katya? Yes, the blue and green Katya. Now it's Gadifra, and here it is. That's the cotton. That's a cotton yarn. And that is, um, that's Lana Mia Catone, and it's $16. And that's enough for a pair of socks. That's 436 yards. Uh, 380 meters. A little over 400 yards. I can't add that fast. Rita Johnson Cotterman, I will take one of that one, please. Yes, this. Uh, blue speckle, blue green speckle. Okay, you got it. Alrighty. So I'll hold these aside. If anybody's interested, we can come back to them. I'll put this here. I'll put this here. Oh, no, I should leave that there. So Danielle can... Dunbar, I will need more than, than if I am crocheting socks. Yes, you probably will. Yeah, if you're crocheting socks, I, I really don't know the yardage. If there's anybody who who's a crocheter who might have some help there for Danielle quickly. Otherwise, I'd have to look it up for you, Danielle. Patricia Espejo says thank you. Well, thank you. You okay there, Paul? Yeah, my arm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, you know, we didn't talk about this yarn before. This is Belviso. Belviso is super, super amazing yarn. This is a 60% cotton, 28% linen, 12% nettle fibers. It has 394 yards on it. It is a super, um, a super fine gauge. It's a one. And um, it's just... It's a cool yarn. When I saw that they had socks in this yarn, I was so happy. Again, summer weight socks or spring. You know, sometimes you just don't want to wear a heavy sock. And this is fantastic. So this is um, Belviso. And you'll see lots of things on our website. There's a gorgeous striped shawl on the website. Uh, really pretty patterns using this yarn. And I have it on sale today where did it go jody long love that belviso yarn i did a couple of designs with that yarn oh it's there's it's just such great yarn hold on a minute i have it written down somewhere apparently not right the price uh, hey that reminds me of a song honey it does? Yeah. They ain't heavy. They're Belviso. Oh, my God. That's awful, Paul. <laughs> that is really awful. <laughs> well, you said they're not heavy. Oh, oh, I get it now. Get uh, it? So I see. Wait a minute. Let me see something. I'm telling you, that was funny. Jeannie oh. McLean, are you making the Brecken sweater into a kit? Um, I'm... Right now, I'm testing it because I want to be sure it all works out fine. My, that is my goal. It's just beautiful. And I'm loving working with it. I just want to be sure that all the, the gauge and everything works out properly before I put it out there. Uh, I'll tell you, in that pattern, I'm, I'm paying attention to Hold you on. all. Maria Brandt says, Danielle Dunbar, yes, you might need want two just in case. Thank you. For the crochet. <clears throat> Yeah, hold on one second. I'll tell you about that sweater. Or about the yarn, I should say. Sorry about this, guys.
Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did he send you a text? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I feel it was I'm the butt of that joke. No. No. Oh. No. 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 Okay. No, no, no. 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 All right. All right. Just making sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I wanted to make sure I had the right price for these. Seventeen fifty for the Belviso. Thank you so much, Jeff. That's the sale price. Um, Jeff was helping me out. Danielle Dunbar says thanks. Okay. Sorry about that. I was trying to find. Wanted to make sure I was giving you the best deal I possibly could on those. Okay, so for the Belviso, seven seventeen fifty, and I have. Let me get this here. Whew, thank you, Belviso. We have red. Now I have limited quantities on these, so red I have four. Gray, there are two. Green, this is great color. There are six. Navy, one, and natural, one. So that's what we've got in Belviso. Let me put them up here so you can see them again. Red, we have four. These are $17.50 each. Gray, two. Green, Six, navy one, and natural one. And this is the pretty socks. And again, the pattern will come with it. Nancy Robertson, painted sock. I'll take one golden gate, please. Nancy Robertson? Yep. yep. Linda Newcomb, sold. Red Belviso. How many do you want? How many do you have? Uh, the red, I have four. There and are who was that? Four. That was Linda Newcomb. How many of the red uh, Linda Newcomb? Lynn Gordon, Belviso Navy, please. How many? Oh, yeah, I only have oh, one. You only have one. Lorraine Schiller, one blue and orange for me, painted sock. Please hold up again. Thanks. Blue and orange painted sock. Hold on a minute. And Linda Newcomb said just one red. Just one red. Okay, good. Should I need to know? Uh, blue and orange painted sock. And who's this for? Lorraine Schiller. Lorraine Schiller wants to see them. She says wants to see the the blue and orange. And oh, that's it. Okay. So there you have it. Linda Newcomb, just one red. I got that already. Linda Newcomb, what's the yardage? Yeah, oh, 390 yards, I think it was. Let me see. Let me find it again. 394 yards. Eileen Steinhauer, is there any green combo in painted sock? In painted sock, any green combo? Yeah. Here's a blue and green. Here's a yellow and green. Here's a light blue and green and red. There you go. I don't know if those work for you. Patricia Spejo, I have to go as I have another meeting. Sorry, I'm missing the rest of the pop-up. Good night, all. Good night, Patricia Good Spejo. Good night, Patty. See you soon. <laughs> Take care. Lorraine Schiller throws a thumbs up emoji and says thanks. And Lynn Gordon says one blue and green. Lynn Gordon, one blue and green. Uh, uh, one blue and green in this. Is that what Lynn Gordon wants? Painted Scott painted sock. And Linda Newcomb, also the natural Belviso. Linda Newcomb, natural Belviso. Because yeah, we only have one of those, right? Yep. Yeah. Eileen Eileen Steinhauer. I'll take the green and blue also. Eileen Steinhauer. Blue and green. You got uh, Lynn Gordon's blue and green as well? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. 
Okay. And Lynn Gordon confirmed, yes, the blue-green cotton. You got it. Okay. So we're good on that one. We have one more of these left. One more blue and green. That's it. Okay. And then they're done. For that, for that color. Okay. Not for all of them, but for Got that it. color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you if you decide you want the Belviso, um, as we go along, just let me know and I can add it. Danielle Dunbar, how many of the yellow sock ones do you have? Of these yellow sock ones? Um, hold on. This is Amazon. Is that the color there? I have three left. I may have more, but I have at least three. Okay. This one, not this one. Okay. So on the next item for our little pop-up, I'm gonna go with not that one. Is that late? Okay, we're gonna go with the super sock. Are we that late? No, no, no. Oh, I was okay. just checking something for me. Okay. So we're gonna do super sock. This is let me give you the information on this. It is 75% wool, 25% palomide. This is great sock yarn, fantastic. It is, oh, where'd my little sample go? I had my little sample here before. Um, here it is. So you can see how they look. Cute, cute, cute. There's 460 yards on a ball of this yarn or a skein of this yarn. So we are going to give you colors and I'm gonna line them up. And they're on sale for $15 each. So I'm gonna do it this way so you can see them. We have blue, red, green, black, gray and tan keeping it simple blue red green black gray tan and purple <laughs> we only have one purple so fight over it now get it done that's all we have left. Stop that. People can't see when you do that. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Don't make those eyes at me. <laughs> okay. Put those here. Gina Bates, scan the colors, please. Okay, scan them. Don't. Blue. Red. Green. Black. Tan. No, that's not. Oh, I'm sorry. Black. <laughs> Wait a minute. Gray tan purple and i just discovered orange rita johnson cotterman purple maria brandt price again please fifteen dollars How many of the purple did you have? Only one. Oh, okay. Purple so that's spawn. gone then. 
Jody Long, Maria Brandt, $15 a ball. Donna Nahajlo, one blue, one green. Thank you, Jody. Jody, what are you doing awake? <laughs> Gina Bates, black has what colors in it? It's kind of like a, it's like a deep, deep navy, a deep navy, a burgundy, white, gold. I'm calling it black because it's, look, the, the navy is almost a black. There's also the gray that is really just a black, navy, and uh, black, blue, and gray. Jody Long, I'm awake watching you guys. <laughs> I can go if you like. No, Sideways want, laughing face I don't emojis. Want you to go. I just all of a sudden realized that it's got to be very late there. Jody has no clock when it comes to nitty gritty yarn. I girl. guess he doesn't. I guess he doesn't. That's true. Hashtag we love all things Jody Long. He loves all things Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Okay, so we'll leave these out. Gina says, hi, Jody. <laughs> there. All right, we're moving right along. We're going to go to our online street design. These are fun. Look at these great socks. Jody along says, Gina Bates. Hey, Gina. So let me... I want to show you the stripe on that when so you can see they're a true stripe yarn. Hold on. Gina Bates says Gina also takes the black. Hold on. Gina. You got it. Okay. So super stripe. I love the stripe on these great colors so that you just want you to see how the stripes show up on your sock love these okay so this is online street let me get this design here we go i'm going to line these up because we have lots of colors so these are 231 yards so if you're making a pair of adult socks you're going to need you're going to need two skeins of this for a sock yarn uh, for adult socks. They are on sale for $9 each. 231 yards, 75% wool, 25% polyamide. And I'm going to give you color numbers. So this pretty color, it's got blues and yellows, some oranges in there, great rainbow colors. 105 color 105 i've multiples on all of these i call these my ralph lauren colors very very uh preppy what do you call that kind of colors uh, traditional these are this color number is 115 the color number in the video let's show the color oh number. Color, show the color number 115 105115. Lovely colors of blues and teals and purples in this one. 127. Kind of a Harvey's gold colors. Yellows, really pretty. Lots of yellows in here. 128. Oops, sorry. Lorraine Schiller, two on Line Street color number, please. Two on Line Street color number. I don't know what that means. So we'll wait till let her get her. I don't know if it's spell check or. Oops, waiting on the color, she said. Oh, okay. Okay. I like this one, yellows, a little bit of lime in there, some gray, great colors in this one, some, some teal in there, 129, 129. 
Here's some orange and yellows in this one. This is color 130. Okay. And then we have color 131. Kind of raspberries and yellows and blues. And that one, that's 131. Last but not least, we have 132 purples and pinks, a little bit of yellow in there. That's 132. We have multiples on all of them. We'll show you again. 105. 115. 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, and 132. Linda Newcomb, two of 129. She says, can I cancel all cotton yarn I ordered first? <laughs> well, you didn't actually order them first, but <laughs> how many does she want, Paul? Two of the 129. <clears throat> Linda Newcomb. That's this one that you ordered, the Lana Mia Uni. You only had one that I saw. So sure. Okay. All right. Anybody? Lorraine Schiller, two number 115s. Okay. Followed by Nancy Robertson. I will take two of the 115s, please. Nancy McClellan Ball, two 105s. Okay. Gina Bates, price please. And does this come with a parting? I think it's a spell check for pattern. Does it come with a pattern? I don't remember that there was an actual pattern that came with these, but let me, sometimes there's a, and I don't see one on the ball band. Linda Newcomb says, thank you. Well, welcome. Um, Nancy McClellan Ball. Oh, Gina Bates was asking, is there a pattern? I don't see one, Gina, but you know, any basic sock yarn, a sock pattern will work. You'll just need two balls, two balls of it to make a, an average um, adult sock, pair of socks. Okay, they will be here if you decide that you would like something. In the meantime, I am going to move on to our last fun little item, um, which is our little Katia United socks. They are, are the mini skeins? these are little mini skeins. These are 109 yards each. They are 75% wool, 25% polyamide. Great with any to use for any sock project that you have. And also that cute little shawl that we did up there. Gina Bates says thanks. You're welcome. Jeff DeGrill just sent me something else. Hold on, let me see if this is something. Hold on. Oh, well, look at that, Jeff. Jeff just showed me a great little sweater you can make with that, with the online street yarn. That's this one right here. 
me show this to you. Hold on one second. Let me get this. Cute little kid sweater. Adorable. Great idea. You happen to know how many skeins you need for that there, Jeff? I love my guys. <laughs> Cindy Kelly, what pattern is that shawl? Um, hmm. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Is, it on there is Anna not? Maria on? Oh. If Anna Maria's no, no, this is one of our one of oh. our design um, our kits. Um oh my goodness, it's on our website. I'll have to find it for you. Um <coughs> something mm. please stand by she's checking that now why is that it's like if Anna Marie is watching she's the one she knitted it sample for me so here it is mini solutions two i knew it had the number two in it mini solutions two and it uses five balls of united socks uh, so what i've done here with united socks is put five balls in a bag and it's going to be a mystery bag because you're going to get five balls that i'm just going to throw into a bag they're going to be all different colors you want to, it's, we're calling the United Socks grab bag, five balls, regular price, $20, pop up sale, 16. So if you would like that, that's just going to be a grab bag. Just say, I want a United Socks grab bag and you'll get five skeins. Oh, and you also get the little pattern book with it that has <clears throat> pattern for two pairs of socks, which I showed you earlier. Anacle Fan Munford, hi friends, I'm late, but better late than ever. Yay for a pop-up sale. Yay, yay, yay. Julie Denny Sark, sold Katya grab bag. And Donna Nahajlo, mystery bag, please. Okay. Well, one for Julie Denny Sark and one for Donna Nahajlo. Okay. And you see the little thing comes with it. Judy Rondo Snitkin, could you scan over the linen blend sock yarn again, please? Oh. Of Please course, help. Judy. Um, which ones are gone? <coughs> the one that's gone. The on. blue one was one. There was only one of right. And that's gone. I'll tell you, Paul, you have a better memory than I do for these things. Well, I guess I'm not totally mindless after all. <laughs> You're just part of the mindless collection. You're not always mindless. <laughs> Here you go. Nancy Robertson. <clears throat> One mystery bag, please. Need the patterns. Oh, the, the pattern? With a winky face emoji. Uh, well, the pattern will be in the bag. Judy Rondo Snitkin. One red, please. One red. Yeah, four beds, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Kelly Kohlhofer, one grab bag for number 127 on line blue, teal, purple. Okay, hold on. 127 on line. Because there are two different ones here. Okay. Blue, teal. What was it? What was the number? 127? Yep. One grab bag and four number 127 for Kelly Kohlhofer. Four Kelly Kohlhofer. Judy Rondo Snitkin. I'll pick up Nancy Box too. All right. And she oh, Lan Nancy grab Balls. Bag. I know. Yep. Okay. Nancy, that would be Hold Nancy on. McClellan Hold Ball. On. Hold on, please. Um, Kelly Kohlhofer. All right. Annika Van Munford, what is the skill set for knitting socks? I would say the skill set for knitting socks is definitely intermediate. Um, I do teach a sock making class, um, but I do, I, I, I would suggest a class or at least a good YouTube, something that you think is going to help you out because it's a little bit confusing. You, you know, it's, it's done in, in the round, 
on double pointed needles and you have to shape the toe, the foot, the heel. So, you know, there's a lot of increasing and decreasing going on, but certainly something that you can do. And I just don't want to deceive you and say, oh, it's an easy thing. It's a little, it, it's certainly a, a process to learn it. So if you want a, more information, give me a holler and I'll be more than happy to help you. And Zoom, just like that, you're, you're knitting, knitting socks. socks. That's our little sock making class. Uh, we do it via Zoom and we teach um, Magic Loop and we use a little heavier weight sock yarn um, or we can use any of these, you know, it just like gives you a little bit, something a little bit heavier to work with. It's a little bit easier, not as unwieldy when you're first getting started. So totally up to you. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, okay. So that's what we've got. We have the, uh, if anybody decides they wanted something, they want something after we are off the air, just let me know um, and I'll get those off to you. If you have not purchased from us before at a pop-up, please be sure to um, message me your contact information. I need your name, address, and email. Phone number is very helpful because if I need to get in touch with you, sometimes I've noticed that not everybody looks at their emails on a regular basis. Um, or a messenger then, if we're not connected. Or messenger, yeah. Goes into you the can send me a messenger. Request thing. Yep. Yep, you can reach me on Messenger as well. But they, if they... What I was just trying to say was, they, if they don't always check the email, if we're not connected, they may not. They may also not check the Messenger. Oh, well, okay. So here's how it'll work. <coughs> when you message me right here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl with your contact information, I will then create an invoice for your purchase you will receive a invoice in your email. So if you purchased something tonight, keep your eyes open because you will be getting an email as soon as I have your contact information. Andrea Whitmore, sock with magic loop or two circulars easier than double points, unless you really like DPNS, to which Anna Van Munford says, thanks, I've done some work with DPNSs, but DPNS. not increased or decreased i'm interested in the class okay let's chat Let, let's chat <clears throat> you know if, if i can just help you out i'm more than happy to um if if you feel the class is going to be most beneficial then we'll do that too yeah danielle dunbar can you go over the painted socks yarns you still have and jody long okay gotta go wake francesco up for work uh, catch up with you soon guys soon catch up soon guys take yeah, care Good night. Good Great night. to see you, Jody. He's going to wake somebody up. I'm ready to go to bed. Isn't that so funny? Okay. So let me get those the painted sock ones that we have left. Put them here. Okay. And I want to get my page so that I know where I am. He did sock. Okay. We have yellow. And, uh oh. Do we go crooked? Okay, we have pink and gray. This one's called Golden Gate. Samoa Sunset. Blue and orange. Blue and green, or green and blue, either way. And blue and orange. I can't think about that red before. Oh, blue and red. Sorry. Sorry, the blue and orange is there. Blue and red. My bad. Blue and red. Cindy Kelly, can you repeat what you said about sending you a message? Is that a Facebook message? Uh, yes, you can send a message right on Facebook, or you can send it in Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, which will go, which will put it in Messenger as well. Um, but I have all your contact information, Cindy. Uh, I think I should be able to manage with you. That's, you know, more if people have not ever ordered from us before, because I think there might be some new names here tonight. So. Um, but yes, just send me a message in, in uh, Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, 
or to Paulette Meyer, either way. Alrighty. So if there's any, if there are any other questions, if you decide you want to grab bag, if you decide you want to see other colors. Danielle Dunbar, I'll take, oh, this camera's starting to act up. Oh, you know what? Because it's been a while. That's why. Hold on. Hold oh. on. Please stand by. We're experiencing oh, technical difficulties. Oh, that's right. This difficulty. is a longer show. Yeah. It doesn't like the longer shows. Okay, Danielle Bar Dunbar says, I'll take the other yellow ones. This yellow. Yep, this is um, Amazonas, right? Yes, Amazonas. Oh, she already has two. You don't want a third one. Okay. All right. Thank you, Barbara. Good job. Oh, my goodness. I didn't. Almost forgot, Paul. Thank you, honey. I watched watch Don't Trip on the yep. Firewood. All right, so I've got a couple of different things to uh, for pulling names tonight. We got two people will win uh, sock yarn. And then I have two Goodie for magazines. And besides sock yarns in these Gadifra magazines, Gadifra has some gorgeous, gorgeous yarns. So you're going to get some amazing patterns in here. So we'll do, <coughs> we'll do yarn, book, yarn, book. So the first one we're drawing for is yarn. Okay, who wants to win? And the oh, first winner of the yarn two. is one down jillian goldrich yay Jill jillian, goldrich. jillian goldrich i heart socks jillian <laughs> so there's your sock yarn heather campbell me 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 anical van munford i'm late to the pop-up i'm sure i'll order something just want to go back and watch the part i missed first no worries sweetheart we appreciate you even being here Heather right. Campbell, congrats, Jillian. And Jillian says, yay. Leslie Wells Flaherty, congrats, Jillian. And Danielle Dunbar says, congrats. This is for a book. <coughs> this is Karen Wills. Yay, Karen, Karen Wills, Wills, you're a winner for the I first book. For a book. Thank you very much for sharing Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. I hate when I pick up so many. This is for a skein of yarn. Anna Mumford. <laughs> hey, yay, yay. That's one less thing you're ordering. <laughs> yep, that saves you time. There you go. You got that. Nice Heather Campbell, Leslie Wells Flaherty, and Julie Sir. All congratulate our winners. Linda Newcomb, congrats, Julian and Karen, and Karen Wills. Yay, thank you. Heather Campbell, congrats, Anna. And for the, <clears throat> the last book. book, the glass book. Leslie Flaherty. Yay, Yay. Leslie Wells Flaherty. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Leslie Wells Flaherty just congratulated Anna, and now we congratulate you. Oh, look at the page I opened that up to. Look, Leslie, how pretty those socks are. Really nice. Fun book. Ooh, look at this great winners. book. Love it. Love these. Love oh. Welsh lady. Yay. Thank you. You are very welcome. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hey, don't forget to check out the um, the retreat online. Thank you to the folks who have already registered. Yay, yay, yay. Quick yay. Blurb about the, the... Uh, the retreat that we've got scheduled is April 22nd, 23rd, 24th, three full days. We have got such great stuff at this retreat at the Red Lion Inn. Um, the we, historic red line. Yeah, well, besides the fact that it's historic, it's all about the retreat. Oh, of course. oh right, and where it is, right? <laughs> and and um, what else did I want to tell you about it? Mary Brinkman, we have our flights booked. Yes, Mary, yay, 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 yay! Oh, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> I'm so excited! Yay! Um, it's just gonna be a great time. Um, we have stitch clinics. You know it. You guys asked, we, oh. we, when we ask 
for <laughs> survey responses. We listen, we listen, we listen. And you wanted more days, we gave you more days. You wanted a more exciting breakfast. We gave you more exciting breakfast. You wanted to learn, have a little bit of learning. We're not giving you full hours, like, like four hours of learning for three days. I don't want to do that. In fact, I even, when I, when I put up, uh, when I got proposals in from instructors, I just said, you know, three, if I take three hours out of every day, each day we're there, it's just a lot of time and it takes away from all the fun and camaraderie because it's a friendship knitting retreat. It's not just a classroom knitting retreat, but we are going to actually have structured stitch clinics. The stitch clinics are going to be run by myself and Pam, and I'm looking for a third person to work on those with us. And they're just going to be one hour uh, clinics that we're going to do. There's going to be swatches involved. We're going to teach you the technique or help you to get better at the techniques. And we're going to be doing YouTube videos so that you can go back into um, YouTube and take a look at the videos again after the class let's see what else oh i'm working i am working on uh, getting models for our trunk show we're going to do a fashion show and i'm working on with a resource right now to have models for our fashion shows we've got someone who does walking tours of the historic inn it's just gonna be a great three days so if you can join us, we'd love to have you. That's right on and the website. It's on our website. If you just put in 2022 retreat, you will find it. I am so excited about this, and I cannot wait for all of you to be there. What's that, Paul? Kelly Kohlhofer, still space at Seep and Wool Gathering? Yes, there's still, yes. That's a meetup. That is not a retreat. Absolutely, Kelly. We're, it's, uh, what we're doing is we are meeting up for um, two dinners and breakfast, right? Yeah, we have dinner one night. Yeah, one night we're gonna be doing it, I'm hoping at the Turf Valley, the second night at a restaurant in the area, and then we're all gonna get, get together for breakfast. This is unstructured, a very light and breezy, but I do need to have numbers of people. That's why we have this online. And the cost is really, it's just to cover the meals so that we can make the reservations. At this point, I don't think we're gonna have a private room. If we have at least 20 people, we will do a private room. Otherwise we'll just, we'll have sections in. Well, there'll be a private room if we go to, um, when we go to the outside restaurant. Uh, so that's what we've got going on as far as that goes. Yes. Kelly Kohlhofer says, I still need to book Grimace emoji or yeah, what's that? That's a Grimace emoji. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yes, I. if you book it, I can get you the um, the code for the hotel. I don't know if you're going to stay overnight because you may not need to stay overnight there because uh, I think you're a little more local than some folks are. But um, yeah, you can still book that. And if you need a room, I can give you the code. Um, I don't know if there are any rooms av still available, but we can you can give it a shot. They do suggest that if you if you go online with the pro with the promo code and they don't have any rooms to call them directly and they will see what they can do for you so that's where we are with that one um i think that's everything i'm here if you need me for something um i don't think i'll be going to bed for a while because i think i've got lots of things that lots of questions to answer but um it has been a wonderful night thank you so much for your time i know it's later than usual holy crow it's 9 40 i'm exhausted no wonder have a great night, everybody. We love you. Stay well. Bye-bye.